guys. I bet you weren't expecting to see this in your feed today. <laughs> so I'm going to do a plan with me video for you guys. I'm so, so excited. So my nail tech friend Marianne gave me a whole bunch of really fun uh, nail polish stickers. And if you guys keep up with my daily vlogs, which, which I know a lot of you guys do, I mentioned in my last video that she made me a whole bunch of really fun like nail polish stickers and she made me a whole bunch of stickers for Rose. Um, she made me some like nail workshop, some nail mail stickers. She made me some really cool stickers and it just kind of like fueled the fire for me to just like get back into planning and give it a whirl again. So um, now that I don't want to say that things have slowed down because things with a baby have never slowed down, but I just feel the need to kind of like be a little bit more organized and I really enjoy taking like the time to sit down and do this. It's kind of like my mom time each night. So I thought that I would show you guys what I did for my last week here. This is the giant Michael's recollection planner. So trying to set up like the camera to film this was a little bit, a little bit tricky because it is significantly bigger than an Erin Condren. Let me see if I can find my old Erin Condren. So this is my old Erin Condren. So this kind of gives you like a comparison here. Like there's, it's quite a bit bigger on the end. Actually, let's hold it up properly. It's quite a bit bigger on the end, quite a bit more bigger on the side, and I am obsessed with it. Like, I cannot tell you guys how obsessed I am with this planner. Um, I'm, I'm using kits and stickers from that fit the Erin Condren in it, so you can see that there's a little bit of a gap, and I am A-OK -okay with that. Um, I like that I have way more room to write. I like that, I really like the white space. I am, like, definitely pro white space. Uh, I'm not so much, like, pro no white space <laughs> some of like I, I think using kits is fun like I really do and I like watching videos where people use kits but I kind of like I kind of feel like it takes away the creativity with planning if you just use a kit each time so yeah so I much prefer doing something like this so this was my last week spread this was using an old popco pretty on paper kit so in her kits like you get a lot of these kind of uh, half boxes and quarter boxes the headings were all hers some of the sidebar stuff some of these full boxes were all, were all hers and then a whole bunch of other stickers from different companies here as well so um, I've been using a ton of Lexi Kylie design stickers I'm obsessed with her stickers um, a whole bunch from my friend that I guys I just shared with you and she doesn't have a sticker store yet Hopefully she'll have one soon. So these are just kind of custom made for me. You can actually get those stickers, but hopefully she's able to create a store soon because she has some really fun ideas for uh, stickers and such. So anyway, we're going to jump to the first week here in February and I'm going to plan this week out for you guys. So what I'm going to be using for this week is I'm just kind of working through some of my old kits and I honestly, like I highly doubt these kits are available still. So I'm just kind of showing you guys in this video that you can definitely work with like old kits that you have in your collection, but I'm going to use one from Let's Plan It. This was a kit that I picked up, oh gosh, I want to say like two Novembers ago. Like this is a really old kit. I highly doubt she still has this. So this is what I'm going to use for this week. I love the tones and the colors on this kit. And I actually, when she sent me this kit a long time ago, I actually, Michael's at the same time had a whole bunch of washi that kind of matched it and I ended up picking it up. So it's, it's totally going to go with it. I have these colors here. I'm fairly certain that this sparkly washi came in that set as well. Um, what else came in that set? I want to say this sparkly washi, washi came in that set. I honestly think it was like a fairly big set. Like I want to say that this one came in it. I don't think I would have bought a whole bunch of separate ones to do this. This came in it. These might be separate. This came in it. So it's just got a whole bunch of like pastel greens and golds and pinks. And if some of these did not come in that set, then whatever. I'm just still going to try and use them. But I think I'll be able to come up with a really fun spread using all of these different washies and this kit. And I definitely find with the large recollections and using kits that don't specifically fit in this planner. I definitely find that I'm reaching for washi a lot more, which is really nice. I like being able to do that as well. So what are we going to do first? Let's start with our headers. So kind of how I've been organizing my planner, I guess just the one week, is I've been doing today, which means any sort of appointments, anything that we have going on. This one I've been covering up and I kind of use this for my work stuff. So for YouTube or nails or anything like that, just because I don't really have any work or YouTube um, headers. And then this one down here, I've been doing like my to-do lists is down here and I haven't been using the bottom at all. So I've just been kind of decorating the bottom is kind of how I did it. So let's go in and put in our headers from this kit. I'm actually really wishing that I had like a Valentine's Day kit to use because it is the beginning of February this week, but 
I don't have any to use. So I like how the headers are looking where they're kind of framed like that. I know this this totally might not be everybody's style to kind of do something like this, but I've really been liking the Recollections Planner. I'm actually kind of hoping, because I do really like Erin Condren, I'm kind of hoping that they come out with a large Erin Condren um, at their launch this year. I think that would be really cool. Especially because I have another large Recollections which I use. It's a horizontal one and I use it for like my daily journaling. And the cover on that one is not staying very nicely. So it's kind of it's kind of frustrating to use in all honesty. I'm gonna probably have to glue that cover on. So they're definitely not as high quality as the Erin Condren ones. And I also think because the coil is significantly smaller, I also think that it will probably fill up really quickly with all the stickers and stuff that I, I prefer to use. And then in my horizontal, I plan to do like a picture a day sort of thing once I receive my new printer in and I think that it too is going to get quite large with it so and I just don't want to use the odds and ends stickers because I honestly don't really care for them and then in the popco kit that I used last week it was bits and bobs or something like that and I didn't really care for that either so I much prefer covering it with washi so I'm going to use this green washi just because it is significantly smaller than some of the other washies Perfect. I'm liking that. Okay, and now does she have, yes, she totally does have checklists. So I'm going to go in and put my checklist on the bottom. Okay, and I'm just going to take some washi now and I'm just going to decorate the bottom here. So I am going to go in with this floral one because I love this floral one so much. Actually, no, first I'm going to take this chevron one. this floral one because I love this floral one. Okay, so kind of busy, but I like it. And Brittany does, well, I mean, she used to include the hydrate stickers, which just because they're included, I'm totally just going to use them. And I am just going to put them down here. I have been so terrible at drinking water. I'm not too sure what my deal is, especially with breastfeeding. I definitely need to be sure to keep up my water intake and I don't know, maybe me putting these hydrate bottles in will help. They used to help. Line break, cheers. Okay, and I do wanna cover this thing up. So I'm going to use, are these the only full boxes she has? Nope, here's some full boxes. You are capable of amazing things. No, nope, I'm gonna use this floral one to cover this up. Perfect, and I know she's got like a sidebar thing here. They're all separate, okay. Definitely gonna use this one. I'm going to use one of these little stickers. I'm gonna put it on here and I'm gonna use this for my meal planning for the week. Okay, and I am going to use a few of her like these ones, Monday through Friday things. And I've been using these to keep track of a few things to do with rows. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one for journals. So I uh, write in a journal for myself and I write in a journal for rows every single day. So I'm just gonna use, I'll just do two check marks to keep track of that. And then in this one, I'm going to use it for her vitamin D drops. And she does have in her kits, like I said, these are old. Um, she does have meal planning stickers here, but I kind of like the idea of having it just on the side here. I just find that I'm using it a lot more on the side. So, um, and I am going to use her others, her don't forgets, and the get it done. So I put those at the bottom there. Okay, so I'm just going to start filling things in here. So on Monday, my husband and I are actually going to head to the border. I have some packages waiting down there for us. I'm going to use one of these kind of larger half box stickers. Use these car stickers from Lexi Kylie Designs. Write down the packages that I know that we are picking up. So there is... Okay. I believe that was everything that I have to pick up when I go down there. Nothing else really on our agenda except I'm going to try and force, hopefully, my husband to hang up my TV tomorrow. This has been on our to-do list forever, so I do not know if he will accomplish it tomorrow, but maybe if I put it on the list, he will. Okay, nothing else then. Tuesday, my daughter has a chiropractor appointment, and her appointment is around, is at four, so I'm just gonna put it a little bit late, later in the day. Okay, and I have these stickers from H Kitty Designs. Again, you guys, like my stickers are so old, I'm really not even sure if any of these companies still make these stickers, so. The chiropractor is a doctor, so I'm just gonna use this little stethoscope there to mark that. And I also was just thinking here, oh my, don't forget, and I have to reschedule a dentist appointment. 
out. She also has these dentist stickers. Okay, and I also guarantee to have Atelier's Nail Tail video up on Tuesdays, so I'm going to use one of these half boxes again. And this week I have a Miss You video going up. Okay, and then I have these stickers from Pretty on Paper, which are just a whole bunch of YouTube stickers. I guess just the green ones. Okay, so I need to, to upload it. Because it's a nail video, I'm just gonna find some nail polish stickers and denote that it's a nail polish or a nail video. And as far as videos on this channel go, I don't I don't plan them out. I kind of just as I have time to upload them, I upload them. Okay, so I've been using these Lexi Kylie Design stickers, um, these little duck stickers, to denote when Rose's bath nights are. So Rose had a bath last night, which was Saturday, so Monday she'll have one. She gets a bath every other day. Eddie actually has a dog grooming appointment on Wednesday at 9.30. Just gonna use use one of these round ones to denote that. And I'm also gonna use one of these stickers from Lexi Kylie Designs. I'm just gonna use a mm, no. I'm gonna use one of the shampoo bottles. On Thursdays, I take on. I work on Thursdays and Fridays. I have one client Thursdays, two on Fridays. So I am just gonna denote kind of like a little cleaning icon for that day just because I need to make sure that the house and my nail studio are all nice and tidy to go for my client. I'm just gonna use one of these little vacuums again from Lexi Kylie Designs. You guys, I'm obsessed with her stickers. Another thing, our garbage pickup is on Friday, so I'm just gonna write like a little note in my to-do section to remind my husband to put the garbage out. And then on the Friday, I'm just gonna find like a little trash sticker to put here. I'm not usually a huge fan of these little tiny icons. Like I think that these ones are a little bit nicer than some of the ones that I've seen, but I much prefer like the, the ones like these that are just a little bit more fun and a little bit more colorful. So that's what I'm gonna look for for trash day. And that little sticker is just from Libby & Co. Again, it's probably really old and probably not available or probably looks a little bit different. Okay, I am going to use one of my Rose's first stickers, one of these ones, um, just to mark that it's her first trip to the States. I know it's nothing like crazy for this day, like we're really not doing much, but like we're just going down to pick up packages, but it's the first time using her passport. Okay, and in my YouTube work category here, I do want to, I'm not expecting any nail mail tomorrow. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use one of these heart checklists. And this might end up being a running total of things to do for the week for it. Actually, she's got a weekend banner here that I'm totally going to use. Just going to place it underneath the today. In the last week one for the weekend, I did... I actually used it to cover up the top and I really liked how that looked. So if I would have thought ahead for that, I would have done the same thing. Um, but I am actually going to divide the weekend here too with some washi. So I think I have everything filled in for what I want to do so far for the week. And as far as the meals go, my husband and I will fill that in. Okay, so I will come back and show you guys what this looks like once it's all complete.